Conducting a vulnerability assessment to critical devices in your organization is a must. Most of the threats your system may have will not be visible to the naked eye. Therefore, using tools like Nessus will help you identify those threats so you can take action and mitigate them. What I'm doing right now, I'm using Nessus Expert, so I'm going to log in. And once I log in, I will be able to uh, start a new scan. These are some of the scans that I've done recently. What I will do right now, I'm just going to walk you through the process of creating a new scan. Now, at the top right-hand side, there is a button that says New Scan. So just click on it. And these are the different options that you have with Nessus. You can do an attack surface discovery and a host discovery and also basic net network scan, which is the, the one that I'm going to show you right now. It's a basic network scan. But you can also scan for other things such as uh, patching and also ransomware to see if your, let's say, a server, it's uh, vulnerable to ransomware. And to do the new scan, all you have to do is just uh, call it, give it a name. You just give it a name and then set up a description and then uh, the identify the, the server. Let's say in this case, it's a server and uh, type the IP address. And then at the top, this is very important. This is an internal scan that I'm doing. So I need to have the credentials of that server. In this case, the administrator. So I have the admin account of that server. It's a Windows Server 2019. And uh, put the username, the password, and also the domain. Now, this is a fake domain, by the way. So this is not the real domain of the server that was scanned. And then just save it. And that's how you would start a new scan. Now, but I already have one because the, the scans take about 30, 40 minutes, depending on the server. And I'm going to show you that in a minute. Let's see if I go back to the scans that I already did. You will see that the one that I'm about to show you, I believe it took me like 29 minutes. That's how long it took for the whole scan to complete. The main controller. There it is. These are the details of that server. That's the last. Uh, it was scanned back on October October 5th. And it took 29 minutes, as you can see there. 29 minutes and 13 seconds. And at the top, you can see the vulnerabilities. So let me go to the vulnerabilities tab. And as you can see, there's a lot of vulnerabilities. But the one that really caught my attention, it's the antivirus, the Symantec Endpoint Protection Client. That one, it's outdated. Now, the good thing about Nessus is that it gives you a description. So you're not out there like, okay, what's going on here? What happened? It tells you what the problem is and the solution. So if you go to the bottom, says output, you can see that the Symantec Endpoint Protection Client, it's 14.2, but that one has a vulnerability. So the solution, it's to upgrade to 14.3. So that's how you identify that particular vulnerability. So upgrading the version of Symantec Endpoint Protection Client would be the solution. Now, here's another vulnerability that is more critical. It has to do with SSL. The SSL version that is being used, it's already, well, it's not recommended. NIST doesn't recommend that because apparently it has vulnerabilities. So what is the fix to that? Well, once again, if you check out the solution a portion, it'll tell you. But this is what the problem is. This is NIST has determined that SSL 3.0 is no longer acceptable for secure communication. So what's the solution? We'll use TLS 1.2. That's the solution for this uh, vulnerability. So it's pretty cool. That's uh, one of the things that I like about NIST is that you identify the problem and it also helps you identify the solution.